Hello everyone. Information Box Ticket Lifestyles brings you today environmental microbiology topic on microbial interaction types and examples. But first don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. So let's dive into the introduction of microbial interactions, its types and examples. The impacts that the species in a community have on one another are referred to as biological interactions. Microbial interactions can take many different forms, including interactions with other bacteria, plant bacteria interactions that support plant development, interactions with animals, interactions with people, interactions with water, etc. Microbial interactions are pervasive, diversified, essential to the operation of every biological community and they play a key role in the biogeochemistry of the whole planet. Mutually, beneficial interactions are the most frequent cooperative interactions found in microbial communities. According to whether both populations and one of them gain from their relationships or one or both populations are badly affected, the interaction between the two populations are characterized. There are many different types of symbiotic relationship between the species including mutualism, parasitism, amensalism, commensalism, competition, predation, and proto-cooperation. Let's see the types of microbial interactions. We have two types of interactions. One is positive and the other is negative. Positive interactions include cytrophism, commensalism, mutualism, proto-cooperation, whereas negative includes amensalism, parasitism, predation, and competition. First, let's learn about mutualism. It is described as a connection where each creature interacting gains something from their partnership. Mutualist and host are physiologically obligated to one another in this connection. It is extremely clear that in a mutualistic condition, one member of the association cannot be replaced by another species. Close physical touch between the interacting species is necessary for mutualism. The mutualistic interaction between organisms enable them to live in an environment that neither species could occupy on their own. They may function as a single organism because of the mutualistic interaction between them. One example is lichens. Lichens provide a wonderful illustration of mutualism. They are an assemblage of certain fungal and algal genera. Mycobiote, a fungus, and a phycobiote, an alga, both of which are green algae and cyanobacteria are partner in the lichen. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Number 2. Cytrophism it is a relationship in which one organism's development is either influenced by or enhanced by the substrate offered by another organism. Both associated species gain from one another in cytrophism. Like, population 1 uses compound A, population 2 uses compound B, and population 1 and 2 both uses compound C. As you heard in this hypothetical example of cytrophism, Population 1 is capable of using and metabolizing component A to create compound B, but it is unable to do it without the assistance of population 2. Although population 2 cannot use compound A, it can metabolize compound B to produce compound C. Following that, a metabolic process that neither population alone could carry out is carried out by both population 1 and 2, resulting in the production of the final product. Two examples of this is, first one is methanogenic ecosystem in a sludge digester. The other one is lactobacillus aerobinosis and enterococcus faecalis. In the first one, methanogenic bacteria rely on interspecies hydrogen transfer from the fermentive bacteria to make their methane. Carbohydrates are used by anaerobic fermentative bacteria to produce carbon dioxide and H2, which are then used by methogenic bacteria methanobacter to manufacture methane. Whereas in the other example, Lactobacillus aerobinosis and Enterococcus faecalis may coexist and thrive in the minimum media but not by themselves. Because Lactobacillus needs phenylalanine which is generated by Enterococcus faecalis 
and enterococcus faecalis needs folic acid which is produced by lactobacillus aeruginosus there is a synaptic link between the two bacteria number 3 proto cooperation it is a partnership where each organism in an association benefits from others presence while this connection resembles mutualism in proto cooperation the interactions between the organisms are not as obligated as they are in mutualism examples are first association of disulfovibrio and chromatin the carbon cycle and the sulfur cycle are working together in this manner second interaction between nitrogen fixing bacteria and cellulolytic bacteria such as cellulomonas number 4 commensalism It is a connection in which one organism commensal benefits from the association while another organism host neither benefits from nor is hurt by the interaction. It is a unidirectional relationship and the commensal may strive even if it is cut off from the host. Examples of commensalism are number 1 non-pathogenic E coli in the intestinal tract of humans. as a faculative anaerobe that consumes oxygen and reduces the amount of oxygen in the gut e coli fosters an environment that is favorable for obligate anaerobes like bacteroids bacteroids have no effect on the host e coli second one is flavobacterium host and nigellana nemophila commensal nigellana nemophila use cytine which is extracted by flavobacterium to strive in the aquatic environment the third association is of nitrosomonas host and nitrobacter commensal in nitrification finally nitrobacter takes the energy from nitrate to oxidize it into nitrate after nitrosomonas has converted ammonia to nitrite number 5 amensalism which has another name of antagonism Amensalism or antagonism is a term for the interpopulation connection that results when one microbial population generates chemicals that are antagonistic to another microbial population. There is a bad connection there. While other populations are suppressed, the initial population that generates inhibitory compounds is unharmed or may even experience competition that thrive in the ecosystem. Antibiosis is another name for this chemical inhibition. Examples of antagonism is first we have lactic acid produced by lactic acid bacteria in the vaginal tract. Numerous healthy bacteria in the vaginal canal create lactic acid which inhibits many harmful species including Candida albicans. Second, skin normal flora Numerous skin pathogenic microorganisms are inhibited by fatty acids generated by skin flora. Number 3, thiobacillus thioxidant. By oxidizing sulfur, thiobacillus thioxidant creates sulfuric acid which lowers the pH of the culture medium and prevents the majority of other bacteria from growing. Number 6, competition. The rivalry between the two microbial populations imply a bad relationship in which both populations are negatively impacted in terms of survival and growth. Competition happens when two populations share the same resources such as the food or space and results in decreased maximum density or growth rate of the microbial population. The microbial population competes for any resources that limit their ability to expand including carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus vitamins growth hormones etc because one population will win the competition and the other one will be ripped out competition prevents both population from occupying the exact same ecological niche example of competition is competition between paramecium cantatum and paramecium aurelia when these protozoa are combined both species of paramecium feed on the same bacterial population Due to competition, Paramecium elorea grows faster than Paramecium cadatum. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribing. Number 7, parasitism. In this arrangement, one population, the parasite, benefits and receives nutrients from the other population, the host, which suffers. 
the population between a host and a parasite is defined by a considerable amount of time spent in touch either physically or metabolically. While some parasites known as ecoparasites reside outside the host cell, others known as endoparasites do so inside the cell. Examples are number 1. Viruses A highly particular host-specific obligatory intercellular parasite, viruses. Numerous viruses, bacteriophage as well as fungus, algae, protozoa and other organisms are parasites of bacteria. Number 2. Bidello vibria. Many gram negative bacteria harbor on Ectobacterium called Bidello vibrio. And lastly, predation. When one creature, a predator, engulfs or attacks another organism, it is a common occurrence, prey. When the prey is bigger or smaller than the predator, it usually dies as a result. Predator prey interactions are often brief. Examples of predation are Number 1. Protozoan bacteria in soil. Numerous protozoans may feed on different populations of bacteria, which aids in keeping the number of soil bacteria at an ideal level. Number 2. Bidello vibrio. Barococcus, Deptobacter, etc. are examples of predator bacteria that can feed on a wide range of bacterial population. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button. Thank you.